in a world where the it thing is always changing, sometimes you need a tour guide or two to help you find your way to pop culture's paradise. If you find yourself reminiscing or in need of a good recommendation, these two have you covered. And now, here's your hosts, Joey and Jeff. Welcome back to Pop Culture Paradise. My name is Joe. Hey, and I'm Jeff. And today... I have to warn Jeff about the dangers of stealing cable. Dude, I, I'm not really sure what we're going to watch today, but the topic has me super intrigued. I'm not going to confess to stealing cable as a kid, but it was definitely a lot easier than some <laughs> would think back in the 90s. Am I right or am I right? Oh, I think without naming names, somebody very close to you may have owned what they called a descrambler. Right. So without... You know, getting anyone in trouble. Can you tell a story about a descrambler? Well, you had the descrambler, right? And then you also had the little black box. I think they may have been the same thing, a little bit different. Essentially, if you tried to go to a certain cable channel, it'd be all out of whack and scrambled. Now, this particular device would do exactly what it's called, right? It would descramble it. So it would put everything into order to where you could actually get a picture and, a, you know, an audio signal and watch channels that you weren't necessarily <laughs> supposed to. And people would sell these boxes. And I just remember several different, you know, versions of this just growing up and watching wrestling almost specifically <laughs> through this discrambler. Now, was it necessarily legal? No, as we're going to find out in today's podcast. But no, it was, it was no. exhilarating is what it was. Yeah, because each time you... you take one of these events you're like <laughs> guess who didn't get my 50 bucks because everything was super expensive mm -hmm. i think nowadays because i always see this debate when an AEW pay-per-view comes up people are like 50 bucks for a pay-per-view everything's right. 9.99 and whatever subscription i'm on and this streaming service is only 10 bucks but back then everything was so expensive so every really event was. that you got for free was like this major major big deal because you felt like <laughs> you're getting one over on them. I'm not going to pay for WrestleMania 6. In theory, you probably should have because it's a great show. Uh, but I, I kind of look back at it then. It was like, gosh, I think the standard pay-per-view was probably like $29.99 up to like 50 bucks for the, you know, big ones. And mind you, this is in the 90s. So this is in standard def. So you're paying $50 <laughs> of your hard-earned money which I don't even know what that translates to in today's money. I'm sure you could do some research, find out. But 50 bucks for standard def, what you would do before the descrambler is you'd have all your buddies on your street and in your town and your friends to come over. Everybody would pitch in 10 bucks. Oh, you'd yeah. order some pizzas. You'd watch the event like it was a big deal. Uh, and I, I think now with just the WWE network on Peacock and everything being 10 bucks and streaming services, it's everything is it's so much more easily accessible i think that's why it's not 50 dollars for pay per view you know what i'm saying yeah which is how like you could justify buying a descrambler that you know eventually the cable company would figure out how to do a workaround and then you come home and wait a minute it's not working anymore well what happened Ugh, cable company repairs now caught on it, now we got to go Go to the shady contact who knows how to make these things or has that contact. And great, we got to drop some more money for this thing. So it's like you're still paying somebody. Right, but you think you're getting one over on the cable <laughs> company. But I mean, that, that was the thing. Eventually, they would just catch on. And then it was like, okay, well, how can we outsmart them this time? Not we as in you and I. We're not admitting to that. We as in like the oh, public. We're too, we're too young. Yeah, it was... Uh, it was exciting is what it was, and I'm really, uh, really curious to see what you have prepared for us today. Before we go into these clips, I want to talk about some of the earliest ways of piracy. Do you remember having to figure out what tape had, like, a good recording on it and which tape was disposable? Like, all right, don't tape over this, but this tape right here, this, this is no good. I mean, your mother's already watched all the things on here. Yeah, well, I mean, the difference between the tape was there like your standard play and then extended play and if you recorded in extended play it would give you 
you know, more room on the on the tape, but it would be lesser quality. Was that the case? Yes. Yeah, so you'd have those. Right. Some tapes were one hour. Some were two hours. But then there was those ones that could go eight hours, and it just had a roll of spool. They just seemed like it went on forever and ever. And those were the perfect tapes right there, because you're like, you know what? I don't know when this event's going to end. Just throw it in there. If I fall asleep, whatever, I'll catch the event. I'll catch the event, the show after the event. I'll yeah. probably have part of the Tonight Show on there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, dude, it was it was it was cool because you could just let those tapes run forever. Uh, and that was like, OK, if you if you purchased something, you were completely allowed to record it from my under standing if you have the device to be able to do so but you obviously couldn't sell it now if you're using a descrambler which which is which is questionable in its own right <laughs> and you're taping this and sharing it with your friends back and forth i uh, i mean it's it's kind of harmless stuff but it's still it's it's wrong as as we're gonna find out you could take VHSs that were actually made by a company and then inside if you opened up the flap and you tape down this little button part in there you could override the copyright protection yep when jeff talked about getting a descrambler i think he's thinking of this kind of transaction and let's just toss it out there real quick that this this whatever this mystery man or person is that you're gonna buy this descrambler from <laughs> this isn't the kind of person that he would invite over for thanksgiving dinner all right you do not want this person to know where you live they're that shady of a character no in fact one of the guys that we will see here today is exactly who Jeff is talking about. I kind of described him as somebody that if you went to their home, out in their hallway or in their kitchen, they have like six trash bags filled with beer bottles <laughs> that haven't been returned to redemption. So it has a lingering smell in the air. Ugh. And like, he's just, he's, he's not gonna give them away cause that's money for more beer. Right. But he's not actually gonna return it yet. He's no. gonna wait for the house to smell terrible. Jeez. So this is the transaction that I think Jared's been thinking about. As of September the 1st, Texas has a new law. This new law- <laughs> I was mean to give it a back alley somewhere. TV like, shows. dude, keep this on the low. I mean, he couldn't have put the box in a bag or something. So it, it, at least it could have been mistaken for drugs at least. Like just keep it out in the open. And how much did, did he even pay for that? Can you look? Because these boxes weren't cheap. As of September Let the 1st, Texas see. has a new law. This new law provides tough penalties for stealing cable TV services. <laughs> that had to have been a good 50, 60 bucks that right there, like right? Yeah, 60 bucks, but that also looks like counterfeit money. <laughs> <laughs> I think this the, the purchasee is about to have another problem if he's trying to rip <laughs> off the descrambler guy. What you're also talking about is the idea of descrambling being illegal. And what I found out through these video clips is the idea and the act of descrambling isn't actually illegal? No, what the device really? is legally allowed to do is descramble over the air channels that are free anyway. Uh. So as this guy describes, you can maybe use it to find a home shopping network, but if you were to use it to try to get, I don't know, VH1 back in the day, then it would be illegal. Do you really want VH1 that bad that you're gonna meet a guy in a back alley and buy a descrambler, like a descrambler out of his back of his Buick? Yes. You're you are that into behind the music. Right. First, the signal has to be scrambled, what they call encrypted, or the law doesn't apply. I guess that means the home <laughs> This guy's an undercover. I don't trust draft. him. No, and if you look on that screen, I am pretty sure that was that was porn. Right. No. He's looking. He's looking. He's looking. What's going on there? <laughs> uh, it definitely is. That's that is a group orgy right there. At this point, you probably want to know who's the kind of guy who makes his business selling a legal product. Can you maybe make a guess at who you think this guy is? It's it's. It's a very, very assuming person. It's that estranged uncle uh, that, that you don't really talk to. He's not invited over a lot. Uh, it's it's definitely that type. It's the video cipher two descrambler. <laughs> and he wears a trucker hat. Definitely what I what I expected. The video cipher two. You want? There are now over forty scramble channels, and the list is growing every day. Scramble channels.
simply cannot be accessed without How many Video Cipher 2. So, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. So, did- th I thought these were like back alley sh shady deals. I didn't know that these people made infomercials to sell Descramblers. I thought these were like on the super low. Were they not? You know, I, I was kind of surprised to see this guy too. This guy's gonna make a legitimate business out of this. He's a pitch man <laughs> for for illegal device. Well, not illegal, I guess. There's a loophole here. I think he's here. like the target poster boy there. That like he's the guy who got the big fine because everyone else got swatted on the hand. They're like this guy. He's too outspoken right now. He's really trying to make a profit. We have to shut him down. He's just taunting the cops at this point. In other words, <laughs> you want to see the best channels. You must have a video cipher too. Video you know what would be what would be really crazy <laughs> is if this <laughs> commercial came up <laughs> while you were watching TV <laughs> on a descrambler. And you're like, we only have the video cipher one. <laughs> Dad, we need video Look at cipher this guy. two. He's advancing technology. He's descrambling time and space. <laughs> he is the descrambler. Golly. And now he's wearing the pinwheel hat, trying to Hey, kids, <laughs> tell your parents to buy the, just the video hey, cipher, kids, too. You want that Nickelodeon? <laughs> so come on, get happy and get your own video cipher, too. It's about time, isn't it? I'm I sold. know, me too. Get happy, get arrested. <laughs> I, like, I like the fact, too, he's like, you know, I don't think people are exactly excited enough to get all these free channels because of my product. We need balloons. It's a party. Right. So this was this was one way to essentially steal cable another way which i which i've seen firsthand if you live in some sort of big apartment complex and each individual each you know each individual person in their unit pays for their own cable i've seen so many people just cut their cable splice it and put a splitter on it and run it into your place like so many people used to do that like we would find Oh my God, these four apartments ab above us have been stealing cable from us, but they didn't know <laughs> we're stealing cable from the guy downstairs. So the signal just keeps getting worse and worse. And you're like, damn it, my signal and is terrible. And then somebody ruins the party by calling and everyone shut off. And we will come back to that because one of these ads does address that situation. Now, why would somebody even bother to steal cable? What are some reasons why you would just not pay for it? because you just don't want to pay for it. I mean, you have to think over the air. I mean, you you kind of get all the major networks. Uh, you can watch all the big games per se in your, ta in your town, in your area. Um, but just to have those premium channels that that you need to pay for, that, that you probably need to pay extra for. Um, I, and I think honestly, honestly, probably just part of the excitement of it, like, it's like you're not supposed to do it. It's definitely kind of sort of maybe illegal. This is the ultimate dad activity right here. This is nothing mom got involved with. Oh, God, mom, she she doesn't even look at it. She's like, no, no, I'm not even going to acknowledge <laughs> she, that she it's likes in the, the house. Benefits, but this is something that dad with his other buddies, they've all discussed this and they're all figuring out how to how to game the system. And one person had some success with it. So now everyone's trying it out. <laughs> It's too expensive. That's the problem. And, and there there probably isn't, you know, just a multitude of cable providers in your area. Time like Warner. for us, it was what? Time Warner or Bust? Like you didn't have you didn't have multiple options until Direct TV and Dish came along. But even then, those were only available in certain parts and certain towns. And up in until a certain southern point, Maine, so. they really could not handle bad weather. So you didn't want to deal with that either. No, I specifically remember we had direct TV and we were hyped about it because we got the NFL Sunday ticket. I don't it know is. if that's still a thing or not, but it it was a really big, big deal. Uh, just imagine a Cowboys fan, a Rams fan, you know, and it's like, oh, well, we can watch all of these games at different. Like, this is amazing. So that was the like specific reason that we had it. But it pretty much snows in Maine almost seven, eight months out of the year. So I, I, I remember distinctly during games being up on the roof with a broom trying to brush the snow off the satellite. And Tim's like, no, no, keep going. Get more off it. It's almost back. All right, turn it a little bit this I way. All right, brush it off. you're supposed to put Pam on like the actual antenna. Like you're supposed to like grease up the antenna so oh, that really? ice can't stick to it and snow slides right off of it. 
and apparently that keeps it stable enough. Why didn't we learn that in school? What's this history stuff? Learn to grease up your satellite equipment. <laughs> so lawmakers got involved. People are complaining about the rapid run-up of rates. Government has not been on the side of the cable consumer for the last several years. Is that Al years. Gore? That is Al Gore. Is he trying to take credit for inventing cable as well? He's trying to <laughs> he's trying to be like the everyman. He knows our struggle. <laughs> right. He knows that cable is just screwing us over. <laughs> he probably owns the he probably owns the decipher. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> he he owns the like decipher beta three model that that like isn't even out yet. He invented the decipher. Oh yeah. So cable knew they kind of had us right. Like, yep. how was how big was it? Because nowadays it's like I don't even need cable. I got the internet. It's got everything I want. But back then when we were growing up, most important thing your social pariah if you don't have it. Yeah, I mean, nowadays, like, honestly, I mean, you you hit the nail on, on the head. I haven't had cable in I don't even know how many years just because it's it's not a necessity like it was back when we were kids. Like, back then, you had to have it. It kept you connected. It told you what was new, what was hot, what was cool, what wasn't. You had, like, you needed it. And now it's kind of like, eh, not really, you know? Yeah, because back then, it was like, all right, I'm going to watch wrestling. Well, maybe wrestling might be on one of the free channels at like a really crappy time and far from having the best product. Like it was like the C, D list wrestlers. If you had cartoons, you had to wait to a certain time of the day. But if you had cable, I mean, you could see all the shows. You could right. watch the you could watch the superstars. You could watch you could watch Rugrats all day. I mean, jeez. And they did a great job. These are some of the promos that they just throw out there. And the whole theme is cable is freaking amazing. You need cable in your life. It's All National right. Cable Month. TV, you gotta see. Look at who. <laughs> TV, where, you where, gotta how, see. Why, Was that Charlie why? Sheen's mugshot? Look at cable. Cause cable's now. Cable's cool. Yep. Cable's hot. Look at cable's cool. To entertain and cable's inform hot. 24 hours Look at a day. Cable. God, cable so sexy. Yeah, they were hyping it up. You had your TNT in there, your USA in there, your CNN. Like you had, you had all the big hitters in cable, and it's just kind of crazy because when we watch that now, we're like, no, it's not. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I do not need that at all because everything now is straight from the creator to the consumer like more often than not they kind of have their own streaming platform for you to watch stuff on so cable isn't really a big deal uh but they definitely did their job hyping it up right then it made Wait me want to get are it you telling me that cable doesn't just rock cable is america's choice and april is national cable month tv you've got to see you've you got to see, see it wow. the most choice the best choice amc from college to the pros 24 hour news hbo from around the world yes, to around the corner round the clock MTV, entertainment from tnn movie hits to the, the national network music. nick and night only cable can only excite you, cable can wow. excite you. So and it's for you yeah a and e amc dude like i don't i don't even know all right let's think how many of those cable channels that we saw right then have their own streaming well, platforms Nick at now. Night is essentially anything on any kind of streaming service. Nickelodeon's got its own right. thing. MTV is part of Paramount, which also has a ton of MTV Paramount side Plus. stuff. Uh, CNN is always yep. being advertised, even when I don't want it. I saw Discovery, TLC, all those are on the Discovery Plus, which, I, which I have. Nashville Network is Spike so, TV, which then became Paramount. Then you have... Yep. USA wow. and I think USA is universal so that'd be on Peacock and then the only right. stuff you're not getting is well I mean who cares that somebody probably recorded you it and it's online anyway TV. you don't well there's never been a better time <laughs> make me feel terrible about right it now. Cable is 24 hour news. <laughs> what in the hell? Total sports coverage. Total. Not even just like partial sports Cable coverage. Is in tune, in touch, and it gets no, but dude, it was completely revolutionary. Yeah, that's why you have a conductor to show you how how big this all right. is. Right. Like to me, I think the invention of on demand was was so much so much bigger than the invention of cable, but it it's not. Now that I'm going back watching this. 
is because on demand was built off of cable, but cable was built up itself. So it wasn't only pay-per-view stuff that people were just scrambling. It was just regular everyday TV. Right. Cause you got to remember probably your basic cable package was 50, 60 bucks too. <sighs> too much, man. That's, that's the problem too much. And then the problem is you get a kid to see this ad and I mean, they're more susceptible and they're like, oh my God, what am I missing? It's right. got everything. And then you market to the adults that, like this ad says, it's gonna make you classy and sophisticated too. Why settle for a little of something you love when you can have a lot more? Is this an advertisement for The Bachelor? Digital cable, <laughs> you get more arts and culture than ever. You get arts and culture. I guess the hell so. And then the other thing too, is you can use it as a, a social status. Like, hey, come over to my house. I have cable. I have all these channels. And that kid was always way cooler. Yeah, we can watch all the big games at my place. We can watch the big <laughs> shows. I got everything over here. And, and you think about it too, like, all right, this kid's a jerk or I don't like her. But dude, you know how many things I could watch over there? Right. <laughs> I go home and I'm not seeing any of this stuff. Nope. And then, you know, the people who are dating at this time, well, you know what bitches love? Bitches love cable. Cable, yep. <laughs> That's how I get them all. I tell them, hey, do you want to come to my place and watch cable? What? Come on. Everybody turn Cable TV turns me on. Oh, gosh, Everybody lady. Turn cable TV. Cable TV is This really is ridiculous. We love to turn Oh my now gosh, they're going there. Seagal, you got turn me on Goofy. On. Dude, it's gonna, this is nuts. <laughs> it's got to turn you on. And then if you're a kid, you're getting advertised this channel. Oh, yeah. Oh, slimed. Nickelodeon. Call 1-800-OK-CABLE. -OK Ah, yes, see? I'd like Nickelodeon, please. They got the kid on the ad to to tell the other kids, tell your parents you want Nickelodeon. And then your your dad's like, huh, I'm not paying for that. I'll just go see Timmy. He'll hook me up with the Decipher 2. And in the early days, like some of these channels you think have been around forever, you had to order them and you had to make sure that they came to your part of the world. So Nickelodeon wasn't everywhere. MTV wasn't everywhere. Nope. So they had to get people to want to see their channel. And how do you do that? You get big stars. Is that Bill Cosby? So an early Nickelodeon show you would have saw. And some berries. What is he doing? <laughs> Making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That was the kind of quality content they wanted to get you to pay for. What is going on? <laughs> because the regular quality content you would get, you know, on your basic channels was still stuff like this. And this is just too old fashioned for me, even though I love it. Just when you thought you had the best price on vinyl siding and replacement windows, along comes the Aluminum Siding Corporation. Come here, one, two, three, two, three. That's cable for you, man. They got those great ads, man. What, what what in the world was that? And how long was that company in like in business? Not long, right? Let's let's be real. I, I think they stuck around forever with that quality jingle. <laughs> and then you get access to all of the best movies. Right. Stuff like your major blockbusters behind the paywall, but then they'd have to build their content in other ways, so you know. Let's guess get every movie out there to watch. I'm pretty sure you've seen so many crappy movies just because they needed to kill time. Yeah. Would you watch this one? One man. I you I'll tell you. Your stepmother's just full of surprises. I definitely recognize her. <laughs> Kim Basinger, Dan Aykroyd, my stepmother is an alien. Next. That's a big uh, problem. <laughs> What? Why have I never heard of that? Have you? <laughs> no, but it seems like a porno starring Dan Aykroyd more than a movie. No, it does. That's uh, that's bizarre, bro. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to make of that, but I'm kind of curious to watch it now. Dan, you have a problem, okay? You, yeah. You see ghosts everywhere. 
he gets he gets ghost blow jobs and ghostbusters one and now his stepmother's an alien this is bizarre <laughs> so finally we get to that point where all right we're gonna do this we are going to steal cable and the cable company thinks that you're a loser you sound a lot like this guy i've got a great way to save a few bucks i've been doing it for months <laughs> it's easy so what if i get cable just, without paying for right it? he's just saving a couple bucks <laughs> no, no big, big deal. deal exactly it's no <laughs> big deal <laughs> they're making him out like the biggest criminal and he's just like i don't know he he just seems like a guy who's losing so much at life that this is the one this is where he gets one over on them exactly like this is this is the uncle you're talking about that nobody yep. hangs around with you don't see him that often yep and then he pulls you to the side and he's telling like the nine-year-old how bad the cable company's screwing you oh yeah they are <laughs> and then you're just like all right when can i leave when can i leave i have this hot dog on my plate i just want to go over there yeah i don't know what the cable company's doing i don't have a job <laughs> Besides, what have I got to lose? Oh, two thousand dollars, even legal. in jail time. Cold to get cable the legal way. It's not like I'm gonna get caught. Never. <laughs> you like the face at the end? Mm. No one's gonna catch him out of all the hundreds of thousands of people doing this. No. Right. No. And that guy's—they're gonna settle for like. I don't know, maybe a letter that says, hey, we'll forget about it for 300 bucks or something. Right. And then this guy's going to grumble, pay it, and then, I don't know, try it again in three years. Mm hmm The cable company, I think, had no respect for anyone who'd steal from them. So every ad makes these guys seem like the biggest losers. Trying to hook up his TV to cable without paying for it. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> his first cousin is the converter converter. He's trying to modify his cable TV. Do I know how to use this to computer? Channels right. Paying for them. Hmm. This old man would not be is doing this. He'd say, I'm fine <laughs> with my black and white screen. I don't care. He wouldn't be tinkering with his cable box. Yeah, it's really odd how they think that this old man is so worked up about not having cable that he's going to go tinker with the box. They're not going to pull one over on me. I'll show them. I'm uh, Marge, where's the flathead? <laughs> no, not the. I need the flathead. Oh, this flathead's too big. We need one of the smaller flatheads. What'd you call me? So you know what happens to him now. What? Every state in the country has laws that make stealing cable service a crime, punishable by substantial fines. And in some cases. Well, clearly only the cable company knows how to operate this stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's why. People, don't think stealing from <laughs> TV isn't a crime, because it is. Oh, I'm stupid. do <laughs> Guess I'll call the co-op cable operator. Yep. <laughs> Hi. Hi. You must be the phone man. Now or the, the problem cable is, man. if you call this cable operator, cable some I'm of them just man. aren't the well, friendly what? people you think they are. No. And I would think, like, the cable company would go out of their way to make you think, like, oh, these are just friendly people. But this ad, I'm pretty sure that this guy is going to straight murder this dude. <laughs> there is no life behind this cable operator's eyes. Yeah, we're checking the lines for cable theft. Really cracking down. Fines, convictions. Before you embarrass yourself and get caught in the audit, come on down. Call TCI today and legalize <laughs> your connection. No questions. I'm asked. the cable <laughs> man. The audit is underway. I'm, I'm the captain tennis. now. And if you're still here, like, I'm up a pole this guy's a like, close he enough. went up there. He thought he had a great idea. He's going to tinker with the actual lines. Right. Like, these guys had a box. This guy, he's going a step further. He's climbing up poles. As, People didn't actually do that, did they? I never saw anybody on the street being like, you know what I really want to do? So I want to go climb that pole and tinker with the entire neighborhood's reception. Right. Because like, it's if the line's up there, it has to come down to the house anyway, so split the line from the house. Oh, boy. The cable guy here, what do you think he was the inspiration for? The cable guy movie? I think that is absolutely correct. All right. 
Yeah, we're checking the lines for cable theft. Really cracking down. Fines, convictions. Before you embarrass yourself and get caught in the audit, come on down. Call TCI today and legalize your connection. No Look questions at him, asked. Look at them just so busted. The audit is underway. I'm counting to ten. And if you're still here... I'm up a pole without a paddle? Close enough. That's a good ad. <laughs> yeah, but you'd look at that guy and you'd be like, well, that nerd's gonna get caught, not me, though. Oh, exactly. <laughs> like, I'm I'm a little more suave and slick than this guy. I'm not gonna go up the pole while the cable man's there. <laughs> no, if you even saw that thing coming down the street, because that's a big van you with can't a lot miss of equipment it. on it. A giant ladder on it. And it's got to say TCI in huge letters on the side. Yep. And if you saw that guy coming, I would already be on alert. <laughs> Even yeah. if he was out of uniform, see how crazy his eyes are. Yeah, he was uh, definitely not, not not somebody you want to go out and have some beers with. Well, Jim Carrey must have studied him for some method acting. Yep. One thing, I I have this friend and and he gave his cable guy fifty dollars and then he got all the movie channels for free. Did you ever hear of anything like that? You stealing from TCI? <laughs> <gasps> how dare you even ask me? Now, do you think the cable company thought that you, you, would steal from them? Absolutely not. Well, that's where you're wrong. Everyone is a potential criminal. What? These people are talking about breaking the law. No, they're not. They're talking about stealing. <laughs> they're they're talking, talking about, about the game on Sunday. <laughs> on swing. Black boxes. About ways of getting cable service without paying for it. Uh, I think you're looking way too far into that. That is one paranoid owner of a cable company. That guy's thinking of stealing. She's thinking of stealing. Um, S Steven, go home. Go home. When, Lay yeah, down. When, <laughs> yeah, like when in theory, he's probably thinking, man, I should have got that promotion. That, that uh, you know, Alex so-and-so doesn't deserve it. And then this woman's like, I went on this blind date and it was terrible. <laughs> he could be talking about anything. Just for you to just quickly assume that, oh, they're definitely talking about stealing our cable. It's just crazy. Well, in Comcast world, we need to live in a surveillance state. So if right. we want to go through all this trouble just to get some pictures. All right, that one guy looks like he might be. <laughs> That's the guy selling the illegal cable. Oh, yeah. The cable is a crime, and we'll treat it that way. I think they ah. have more important things to look out for in Baltimore than stealing cable. Right. Now, this one upset me because, honestly... I think if the guy in this commercial just would have hung out with the bros, this whole situation would have been avoided. Yeah? Yeah. Working hard or hardly working, Shiny? <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. It seems like the boss is kind of a jerk, right? Yeah, he's kind of just a tool. I mean, he's just picking on this bootleg George Costanza. But right. then you're like, well, other people must like him because he's going to have a party with his friends. Hey, anybody oh. want to watch the fight? At my house this weekend? Charlie knows somebody who hooked up his cable. Gets all the pay channels for free. It's a beautiful oh. thing. What if someone turns you in? Who's gonna... <laughs> who in here is gonna turn me in? I think you've seen this commercial. Get out of <laughs> here. Who's gonna turn me in? <laughs> Back to work, shiny. Maybe oh, the guy you've been, you've been ragging working. on all day. Report cable theft oh, gosh. He's going to the re cable theft com. report dot com. <laughs> snitch i don't care what you say that guy is a snitch and i like him the least in this commercial you gotta admit his boss is kind of a kind of a dink hole but for you to really go to cabletheft.com <laughs> to report him it's like all right that's just come on that's that's like when somebody posts online they're like am i the asshole in the situation and you read the story and you're like well you're not the asshole but you are the innocent angel either exactly like, who knows what that guy on his computer was doing? Maybe, like, all week, he's been stalling on the project that they're supposed to be working on, and today the boss just kind of had it with him. Yep. And he's all like, how dare you criticize how I work? You steal cable. <laughs> I wonder if those sites are around still, do you think? No. What? Jeez. All right, you know what? I'm going to make an edit. If you see it here, I'm going to check online and screen record it. Cabletheft.com. Now, if I was to tell you that I stole cable, what would your reaction be? I'm not surprised. <laughs> would you shame me? Or would you say, hey, what did you get? I'd say, uh, 
is it easy to get and how can I get my hands on it? So you wouldn't be like this friend group. Do you really think it is? Stealing? Yeah. I mean, it's not Grand Theft Auto, but cable theft is definitely stealing. Oh, please. I'm with her. Jeez, it's not the end of the world. Come on. It's not Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> but it's, it's it's like saying it's not it's not murder, but you're still stealing. It's still illegal. This, Technically, this, you're right, but it's like, all right, come on now. Kick you could this, be doing a lot worse. Kick this 90s Karen out of your house for just oh, being totally. that whiny. And then she's about to throw away a friendship over this whole stealing cable thing. Take you on your conscience you and hit do the it? door. Did you steal these? Look, I'm sorry I brought it up. Fine, me too. We just never thought of it as stealing. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Stealing cable is a crime. To legalize your connection, no questions asked, call today. Are those my earrings? <laughs> All right, suddenly, okay, this is getting a little bit. Are those my earrings? It's like, well, you stole cable. Maybe you'll steal my valuables. It's like, lady, get a grip. And also, the funniest part about that is if this if this commercial were recorded from somebody stealing cable, that would be the best. Yes, it would be. Now, I don't think that lady or any pe person was alone in doing this. Screw this into the connector right here. Okay, yeah, then that, that goes into that. There you go. All right. You know, industry sources say that nearly half the homes hooked up to cable are ripping off the signal. Good to know, oh, MacGyver. Good to know, <laughs> brother. Now, earlier you were talking about how the place you were living at, everybody was stealing the same signal. Right, yeah, it was like, it was like one person was paying for it, but everybody was splicing off the next one. Well, Ken Griffey Jr. here has a problem with it. Why? Who's stealing his cable? I get service calls like this all the time. Guy down the street makes an illegal cable connection, and all of a sudden, your picture isn't what it used to be. No, that's not all he has to say. He wants you to snitch on your neighbors. Illegal connections and receivers can leak signal and play havoc with reception all through the neighborhood. Think about it. They steal cable, and your picture gets messed up. Victimless crime? What do you think? Well, I mean, no, I'd be pissed if somebody were stealing it from me, or I would go to them and say, look, throw me 20 bucks a month and we'll call it good. It used to be so bad where I lived that we didn't, like, if if uh, a, a person changed the channel in their room... It would it would change the it would change the channel for the next person because they didn't have their own individual box. You'd be like, "Hey, I'm watching this. What's going on?" That's how bad it was because if you didn't have your own individual box, you could only change channels on your TV, and whatever line you were taking from them was coming from their box. So if they changed it, you had to watch whatever they were watching. You didn't have a choice. So this ad, I think, actually is perfect because it's not playing up that oh, you're helping the cable company, or oh, this is just the right thing to do. This one is just saying, yo, they're messing with your signal, because if you pay, well, why should they get it for free? Playing up exactly. the selfish angle. Yep, yep. You're not a better person. You're just the person who paid for it, so you should get what you paid for. Uh-huh. Now, it wasn't just stealing cable. Eventually, you stole satellite signal, and I found out that they could detect that as well. So... If you were to get a pirated signal and they found out about it, it would bring you to a specialized signal just for you, the pirate. Are you serious? The oh Jack my Sparrow goodness. Network. Yep. Why is the rum always gone? Hi, you've tuned into this network's pirate TV. And you've been enjoying the first-rate programming of entertainment, news, weather, and sports... Is this for that real? ...that only the Dish Network can offer to its subscribers. But did you know that you were not a legitimate subscriber? That's right. I'm speaking to you on a channel that only viewers who are illegally obtaining the Dish Network can see. Dude, low-key, this would terrify me. <laughs> that is when you're, like, 12 and you go, uh-oh, what did I do? Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Like, have you have you ever gotten that that very stern email from the you know internet company that's like we noticed this type of whatever you're up to and you need to stop? But if this actually <laughs> popped up on its own individual channel specifically aimed at, I would dude, I would have peed my pants. 
No, you you couldn't Daryl and hide behind an ISP <laughs> from no. another another country. So that last lady was a little more comforting. She kind of gave this like mom older sister vibe of what you're doing is wrong. This guy straight up terrifies me. Hello, you're watching Dish Network's Pirate TV channel. Take a seat. Did you know you're not an authorized subscriber? What are you doing here? <laughs> Jeez. I will say though, I would have loved to have been the actor that got to got to be on camera for these and to be like, so did you really think you were gonna get away with this? Did you really think you were just gonna splice somebody else's dish signal and get away scot-free? <laughs> we're coming for you. Not only you, every person in your family, everyone that sleeps in that apartment, you're all going to prison. Not grandpa, he just watches the golf channel. Especially grandpa. But dish mommy here she's just upset she didn't think that you were the type of person who would steal ditch signal she's just because you were disappointed in you channel, we know you were not mom an pants. viewer of the dish network signal unfortunately how you do you may know? Not know that the system and programming you purchased was sold to you by someone who was not authorized to tell us where you got that signal from johnny or tell us yeah this you isn't my fault. This is their fault. Someone claiming to be an authorized dealer, telling you that they could also sell you discounted programming packages. Yeah, I thought they worked for you. You just wait till your dish father comes home with his Patrick Bateman like inner rage. Oh, no. That's right. I'm speaking to you on a channel that only someone receiving programming without proper authorization can view. So if you're watching me, you're a satellite pirate. How do I become oh. a satellite pirate? <laughs> right. How can I get that jacket? I just feel like this guy is holding back an inner rage. No, he really is. Like, he, he wants to murder things. Now, we understand that some of you may not even realize you've been receiving Dish Network programming without proper authorization, but the fact that you're seeing this channel right now means that the receiver you're using has been modified to receive programming without payment to Dish Network. Yeah, you see, this isn't my fault. <laughs> I, I, thought, I, I thought that I purchased this from Dish. <laughs> Stupid me. I thought it was all legitimate. If I see you around Dish again without proper identification and a Pretty proper much. paid for signal, you will never see your father again. Oh my God! <laughs> who is the, who? Who is he? Dexter? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I want my Dish mom back. Yeah. So you're receiving a stolen signal. Now what do you do? It's simple. Yeah. Dish Network is offering you the opportunity to sign up now and Good become cop, a legitimate bad cop. subscriber yeah. without penalty or consequence. Oh, you're not in All any you trouble. Have to do Just is sign up now and pay for it. Dish and order programming legally. Once you've called and become authorized, you can Now my question is, is this something that, that they're still battling in 2021? Programming. Absolutely. There's got to be. Of legitimate Dish I, I got to think there's got to be like different ways to hack even now. Well, I know offers. I know you can do the, you know, you can uh, jailbreak your Amazon Fire Stick and you can essentially do the same thing, but all online. Mm -hmm. um, and then also with DirecTV and Dish, you get passwords so you can log in on your, you know, iPad or your MacBook or whatever. And you can watch even if, even if you're not at home. So you got to think people are sharing their passwords, so you can watch Dish or watch Direct TV, right? Still? Yeah. Well, and then you get your ISP address and everything else like that, and then they can kind of track the amount of users. And then if you're like using a VPN or something in another country, I mean, they know that you're doing something to work around it. Yep. So they're trying to figure that out. So like we were talking about a certain somebody who gets a lot of letters, even though they're behind a VPN, they know something is messed up. So we get to this point where it's like, do you trust them that they're going to give you amnesty? If you were to be like, all right, I confess. I was stealing the whole time. I'll pay for it now. I think every, anybody that this this would happen to, they're just going to play dumb. I, I didn't know. I thought this guy worked for you. I didn't know it was illegal. What do you mean? Well, we have 50 ads stating that this is like a highly illegal procedure. What? I never saw those. <laughs> what channel? All of them. I don't watch commercials. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Our customer service representatives will treat you with the same respect and courtesy they would treat any other returning customer who already has right. equipment and is ready to start After service. you put a knife in my no back. You want to know what I'm honestly waiting for 
is Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair to tell me how terrible stealing cable is. I have a feeling that's coming up at some point. <sighs> Unfortunately, no real celebrity oh. wants to come out and lecture you on this. They'll lecture you on other stuff, but when it comes to playing hardball and getting you to pay up, these people are going to do the mafia-like tactics. Should you choose not to contact us and become a subscriber, in the future you will lose your investment in the equipment you've purchased, and there ah. will be no amnesty period available. Okay, so you've discarded the illegal equipment, right. called Here's 1 800 333 dish, yeah. and now you're an authorized <laughs> subscriber. You pay so us, or we break your back arm. From person who this is what you're going to do, equipment. and you're going to like it. That may be impossible. The only way to get you your money back from pay the individual for Cartoon who sold Network. you the illegal equipment <laughs> is to contact them and request a refund. And if you can't contact them, and unfortunately you probably won't be able to, your only recourse they're is already to contact out of town. the local law yeah, they, they already skipped town to file a complaint. Now, maybe you're arrogant enough. Maybe you're like the person we talked about earlier who hides behind their VPN and just thinks they're above it, that they're not going to get caught. Oh, it'll never happen to me. Well, guess what, bub? They're on to you. You should also know that Dish Network is nearing the end of a massive upgrade to a new secure programming access card. You may have already noticed that you're no longer receiving the majority of our programming. Dang it. They got rid of my Playboy and Spice. They're on to you, bub. <laughs> don't be tricked into wasting your money on new devices in hopes of regaining programming. New electronic countermeasures are being implemented to shut down this type of equipment. Yeah, and your and your countermeasures will always be countermeasured. Like it, you, there's just it's a never-ending game. It's a never-ending cycle. They found the most emotionless guy to deliver this news. Yeah, it's like, all right, here's how they stopped us. Here's how we can get around it. All right, here's how they stop that. Here's how we can get around this. So, are you going to give up your life of crime? This network understand that you may be the victim of unscrupulous You don't want to disappoint mom here. I am the victim. I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> was illegal. Amnesty, anyone receiving unauthorized programming Amnesty, amnesty. <laughs> the white flag of Dish Network programming with no questions asked. No, this, this guy he 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 said he worked for Dish. He sold this this box to my wife. And I, 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 have, I had no idea. <laughs> and you know what? You don't seem like the type of person who'd steal. You're not a bad person. Hulk Hogan's not going to come out and lecture you not to steal. This Damn lady it. will. I don't think it's right to steal, even if it's little stuff. When you steal little stuff, you're going to go to big stuff because you think you're never going to get caught. <laughs> ah, <laughs> she makes a good point. You just look like the type of person who was raised proper. As a parent. You are the greatest influence in your child's life. You set yeah. examples of what's right and wrong. I do. And I am. stealing cable TV is not only wrong, it's a federal uh, crime. What I kind don't of example know. are you setting for your children? The example I'm adults, setting is don't let the cable no company let bully you into a corner. Because then they just, they're just setting a bad example for the kids. <laughs> right. And you don't want to set a bad example for the kids because they could turn out like this. Very good twist ending there. Is that Ryan? <laughs> hey, no, he just steals socks. Pay for that chocolate bar. What are you talking about? Yeah, I, yeah, I did. I shoplifting at a store just down the street. Wow, May they I took this to another place? level. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna go wait in the living room. What did he steal? Uh, chocolate bar. Uh, oh, come chocolate on. Chocolate bar. Get they literally on, get... took this kid home for a chocolate bar. And then he's gonna say, well, they, it could go from a ch chocolate bar today a convertible Corvette tomorrow. We don't know. You wouldn't steal a car. But I mean, if I had the opportunity to. Uh, if the perfect scenario presented itself, I mean. <sighs> I want to see him spank him. Just, just, just give him a, up an old fashioned whooping. Oh, then where on earth did you learn to steal? Where did he learn to steal? Well, from, 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 from you, dad. <laughs> You sure didn't learn it from me. But yeah, Dad, I did. <laughs> you steal satellite signals. <gasps> oh <laughs> no! What? 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 We got eleven forty-two. Comparison progress. <laughs> you know, parents suck. Why don't we just let TV raise the child? If you're not oh, cheating, yes, you're not I trying. I am concerned kid. about what they're watching. Young minds take in a great deal of what they see, and yeah. we can't always be there to check. 
Face it, your kids are going to grow up with TV. Raggedy Ann and I Raggedy Andy. I could be happier <laughs> that cable has these channels and shows, especially for young people. I like the face it. Your kids are going to grow up with TV. Just give in. Just give in. Just, yeah. Just, yeah. Hang it up. It's over. Obviously, the cable company is going to be a better parent than you are. And you know yep. what? There are times I'm happy just to sit down and watch right along with them. Cable TV, bringing it all home. And earlier, we said, you know, why do they make the cable company guys seem like such creeps who are going to murder you? Can't we just find a guy who looks like he's there to help you out? Yeah. Now, tell me if you've ever had a cable operator work at home as hard at his job as this guy right here. Can I get by? I have to get a service call in five minutes. Nah, you have to take the detour. I don't have time. The detour? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> God damn it. He's got a job to do. Yeah, right? He said between one and five. Like a shortcut. Yeah, and you know they always will show up at 4.59 and just leave a little note on the door. Sorry we missed you. And theirs are just because they poorly planned it. But this guy in this commercial, if he said, hey, listen, a lot of things happen. This is why I showed up late. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's Rover. Paperboy sequel, Cable Man. Yeah. I'd play that game. He's still on the run, man. He's not giving up. No, but he's still going to help out the community, even though he has a job to do. Yeah. Kurt, go. Oh, What's way. wrong? My cat's stuck in the tree. <laughs> oh, fine. Gosh. I'm going to be at this place here in three minutes. Here's your cat, kid. Oh, the sprinkler got him. Is he going to make it on time? I don't know. That clock is getting pretty close to when he was scheduled to be at this lady's place. Yep. Is she going to get her CNN? Oh, yeah. He made it. He's there. He made it. Hi, I'm Ray from TCI Cable of Brookhaven. Hi, Ray. Right on time. Oh, nice of you to show <laughs> up. <laughs> he completely no-sells it, too. He's like, man, you wouldn't believe what I just had to do to get here. <laughs> Somebody wow. get that man a new contract. Wow, you are completely on time. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he put all his effort into this commercial, and she put none of it? None. Not, none at all. <laughs> He went 110, she went negative 10. Yeah. So with all this evidence, Jeff, are you still thinking about stealing cable? Do you want to turn to a life of crime? You know, other people get caught, but not me. Come on. Little old me, no way. I'll still give it a shot. Well, this guy's job is to make sure that you don't even give it a second thought. Oh, sure, you may save 20, 30 bucks a month. Maybe more if you get some of the pay-per-view events but getting caught will cost you. Unauthorized How use much? of a scrambled cable signal is a federal crime. If you steal it for your own home, you can be fined up to $2,000 and get six months in federal prison. If you steal it, it and then charge others for it, that's a fine of up to $50,000 and up to two years in the pen. Ah, so you're not, not only would, would you be stealing, but you'd be dealing. Gotcha. No, you usually just steal cable for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Decipher Guy. Oh, yeah. He's a, he's a, dude, you gotta respect him. The guy's an entrepreneur. Look at all that illegal equipment. It's a felony. Because of the Cable Act felony. of 1992, the use of unauthorized equipment or service can be a felony, punishable by a fine of $50,000 and two years in prison Golly. for the first offense. 50 grand. And the next reality show, Cappy, the Cable Hunter. A lot of Texans yeah. may not realize their actions are illegal and could result in a $1,000 fine up to six months in jail. This is District Attorney Cappy Eads warning you that if you're receiving <laughs> cable programming you're not paying for, you could be convicted of cable theft. Take some of that bass out of your voice when you your talk to me, Cappy. Today. Call us before the police call you. Call us before the police call you. Tuesdays, NBC, 8 o'clock. <laughs> you, know, you, know you, know, you know how now they, they do those live cop shows? Where there's yes. just like a 24-hour feed of just police out doing their job. Can there be ones that are just specific <laughs> for people stealing cable that's just live? Even if there isn't a lot, like, 
happening. I just want to be able to watch this. No, 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 I can't go to jail. The decipher's only to get the home shopping channel and only the home shopping channel. I don't well, have any responsibility for what they do after that. Well, ma'am, you're going to have to tell us where, where you got this from and we'll be willing to make you a deal. I got it from my husband's brother, Jared. <laughs> Jared said it's okay. Yeah. Well, this guy says it's not okay. As cable coverage more and more of the country, more time and money is going to be spent catching cable crooks. Knowing your risk and the price you may pay if you get caught will give you the legal edge. Oh. Attorney Michael James Bryant. Okay. <laughs> why did he so mess wait, what with our a, signal? Yeah, what, did, why did, what was the point of that? <laughs> Just a dramatic outro. Now, you seem like the type of person who'd plead ignorance, right? Oh, yeah. I, I had no idea. What? Wait, who? Well, our attorney here, he's going to let you know your options at this point. Hmm. Or a second exception. If you think you can prove you had no clue you were violating federal law, what was with that shot? The can actually reduce the <laughs> fine. Somebody got fancy. And if you think stealing the All signal the angles. is bad, you should try making or selling one of these black boxes. Whoops. I would never try to make one. <laughs> That's just too much work. <laughs> Why do you add whoops at the end? Like, wait, were we supposed to get that in the shot? Or yeah. whoops, I shouldn't have made this illegal satellite box. Yeah. So at least if you're going to steal the signal, don't go making the black boxes. That's where your trouble starts. No. A conviction could mean a fine of up to $500,000. Okay, I thought it was 50000 in, in two years. Violation. One last they got thing. serious the as the years went on. Company to recover because people fees. just didn't stop. They didn't that care. If the fine and the damage award are small, the legal fees could be ten times that amount. I mean, you know how it. Why are you talking to me bill. while I'm outside? <laughs> what is this? Just put, sit him down in a chair and just talk to me. <laughs> he came to lecture you. You're like, is he still going on about how much I'd have to pay if they caught me? I'm going outside to garden. You just. Keep talking. You'd, yeah, you just, you just keep letting it roll, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even watch TV. The house is filled with books. Yeah. There is an amnesty program. So there is. The last thing I'll remind you people is, if you're stealing cable currently, ow. But also, you can redeem yourself. Call Chambers Cable now. During our amnesty program, we'll properly install your cable services free of charge. No questions asked, no fines, no jail sentences, no This is a commercial chances. brought to you cable and paid for a by a scammer. Crime. Absolutely. Oh, yes, this is the low rent attorney. This is uh, Cypher Guy's brother. Yeah. <laughs> he knows all the law. So look, we'll sell them the box, we'll get them in trouble, and then we'll get their money on the back end too for the amnesty program entrepreneurship so today we have provided probably one of the greatest psas there's ever been yeah i think so now i think the modern day version of this and it's crazy how I, that they're just catching on to this stuff but like she uh sharing a netflix or hulu password so would you steal hell yeah <laughs> i'd yeah, still know. i'd still do it they get an amnesty program. How much trouble can you actually get into? Come on. Yeah, you know what? I think I would too. And then you plead ignorance, get amnesty, and you're like, hey, listen, it was like a two-year discount, one-year discount, three-month right. discount, however long you can ride it until that guy from the pirate satellite shows up and says, I'm here to collect. Jeez. Dude, this was this was cool stuff. I, I'd love to do a more, uh, like like 2000s version of this but specifically for pirating music i think if we could do a, a psa on that as well kind of similar to this one that could be a cool you know one after the other look at the two different types of piracy the two different types of stealing do you think the video decipher guy figured out how to get himself some free music too oh he he, he he's all had dudes Call up, call up Gateway. <laughs> got, got myself one of them there com computers on a payment plan. Paid the first month, never called them back, and then from there I downloaded Napster. Jarrell told me about <laughs> Napster. I got me the Dr. Dre CD, and I never looked back. You, you have to think the generation before us that was that was doing this stuff, but with cable. They knew about the Decipher 1 and the Decipher 2, and when they caught on to that, they moved on to the little black box version 1 and version, you know what I mean? Like, 
It's just kind of, I don't know. It's it's interesting to me. It really, really is. And you know, this is one of those, uh, cla not even like a class thing too, because I remember like uh, maybe an uncle, I guess. I'm not throwing anybody's name out there. Nobody's name, nobody's no, social security number. But you know, they may have ended up with a black box as well. They had a good paying job. Yeah. But you know what? For the investment in that thing, well, hey, guess what, kids? You get to watch Jurassic Park 2 tonight. How? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I just have the hookup. I wow, got, I, he's cool. <laughs> I know a guy. There, there was there was always that story. I know a guy. Yeah. And then you're like, I, I don't know how, but every time I go over there, I get to watch the latest movie. <laughs> now I don't have to pay to watch Congo. No, and dude, I think there's just a big collective FU towards the cable company, no matter what like tax bracket your family might be in. Mm -hmm. It's like you're just been ripping off people for so long, so F you. Like I don't think and nobody has any sympathy for the cable company. No, they really don't. I as much as we I We would love legit cable. drive past Time Warner in in <laughs> South Portland, we'd flip them off every single time we drove by as a ritual. We would ever it didn't matter. We could be mid conversation, we drive by it, flip them off. Well, yeah, and you don't get one out of five stars in your ratings online with yep. stellar customer service. <laughs> so for Joe, my name is Jeff. Thank you so much for watching Pop Culture Paradise. Steal if, cable or don't steal cable. Let us know what you would do in the comment section. Just don't leave any details that would have them find you. If you like this video, like, click, and subscribe, and... You know what? Get a downloader and pirate all my videos too, okay? You know? Yes. Let's just make it fair for everybody. If I'm going to advocate, take it. Take it and share it. You heard it right here.